Why Kate Middleton didn't attend Royal Ascot after her big return at Trooping the Color? She has been doing what's right for her and recovering privately at home. She is dealing with the best she can, a source tells people.com in this week's issue by Janine Henney, of course. Thank you, thank you, Janine Henney. While several royal family members attended day two of Royal Ascot, Kate Middleton was an at the equestrian event. On June 19, Prince William, Queen Camilla, Princess Eugenie, and more come together for the second day of the prestigious horse race that's long been a staple of the royal summer social calendar, which Princess Kate's parents, Harold Middleton and Michael Middleton also attended. It was significant to see the Princess of Wales parent at Ascot uh, Race Course in Berkshire as it marked their first public event since their daughter announced in March that uh, she has cancer and is undergoing chemotherapy. It's preventive chemotherapy, isn't it? But Princess Kate didn't join them. Palace aides emphasized that Kate, uh, Princess Kate time is the uh, in the spotlight a trooping didn't equate equate a, a return to royal work as she continues to prioritize her health she has been doing what's right for her and recovering privately at home she's dealing wi- with with it the best she can a source close to royal household tells people exclusively in this week's cover story. The Princess of Wales stepped back into the spotlight for the first time in nearly six months at Trooping the Color on June 15, where she traveled by carriage with the children Prince George 10, Princess Charlotte 9, and Prince Louis 6, and shared a look of love with her husband, Prince William on the Buckingham Palace balcony. How, how cool is that? Prince William and uh, Princess Kate get to exchange glances of love, according to people. I hope that, that lasts. I hope um, that seems to be uh, doing better now, hopefully. But we'll see. Uh, however, the Princess of Wales presence at King Charles' birthday parade didn't signal an official return to royal duties as she continues chemotherapy. Princess Kate spelled out her plans for the immediate future in a special personal letter issued on June 14 that confirmed she would be at Trooping the Color the next day message marked her first update of her health since the since she announced on March 22nd that she has cancer I'm looking forward to attending blah 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 this is repeat 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 so Princess Kate spoke openly about her experience with chemotherapy in the latest update so uh the Royal Ascot, and everybody came to for, uh, to visit Princess Eugenie, Princess uh, Be- Beatrice, Princess Anne, Duchess uh, Sophie, and Duke Edward. Oh, that that really weird, huh? Calling uh, him Duke Edward. So uh, Edward, uh, Prince Edward, the Duke of Edinburgh, uh, so finally gets his uh, dukedom. But uh, if uh, if uh, Prince Edward passed, that dukedom going back to the uh, crown. Isn't that crazy? I mean, Charles, that's his brother. He is also the son of the queen, the, uh, the late queen. But Charles is not giving him the dukedom. It's supposed to be uh, uh, given to the heir, which is, which is his son is so mean i don't know i don't even know why that uh, so this is when megan uh attended i believe it was 2019 but anyway that duke dome you know supposed to be uh edwards to begin with they said when uh prince philip passed and edward su- supposed to get that duke dome but edward passed first before the queen 
and uh, it was strange i don't know why the queen didn't just give it to edward right there and i guess right you know even back then prince charles seems to be in charge otherwise the queen because the queen was so you know was so old she was in her 90s and the people complaining about uh, joe biden 81 and he's still leading the country look at the economy american economy is booming right now the dow jones the, the highest have ever been it reached 40,000 and the nasdaq is has the highest ever been 17,000 and he is running the country and it's not never going to happen with donald trump guaranteed so uh, you know the queen was 96 when she passed and she was still running the the whole commonwealth the united kingdom and the whole commonwealth and uh but uh, i believe maybe charles was basically also running it because why didn't edward get his dukedom right after uh, the uh, prince philip passed and uh, poor thing but hey you know he has 130 i believe it's 135 rooms palace gigantic palace for that you know four people in that house and they must have tons of the uh, servant there because to take care of that 135 rooms or 125 rooms taking a lot of money to to uh the, you know to for electricity water and all that but that's taken care of by the crown by by king charles you know the money from king charles taking care of that and king but king charles wouldn't even spare that little tiny home i keep bringing that back because uh for his own son and calling him defiant he he just want to protect his wife you know because the uh the media just been abusing megan and he wants to remove that i mean megan was she lost her baby for being abused she had miscarriage and uh she was suicidal and kate and william just keep beating them up and uh, it's not brave on kate's side because you know the sister-in-law instead of helping her is just putting the gas to the fire in my that's what i learned from the media about the dukedom of prince edward but i'm glad he finally gets got it and so sophie been looking forward to be the duchess of edinburgh so these are the uh, compile of uh, pictures from the royal escort.